Good morning, everybody. I feel like a Dr. Derry Ray here. Uh, yeah, we're going to be talking how exactly these clouds and showers and thunderstorms are forming, just like you can see behind me. They start off low, and then they build up high. It all has to do with instability and specifically buoyancy. Now, we're going to demonstrate this using water because water is a fluid and so is air. So they behave rather similarly. So it all starts with this right here. We're going to consider this a parcel of air, or this is just a water balloon, but we're going to pretend this is a parcel of air. Here, we have a stable environment, and when I put our parcel in here, because our parcel is cooler than its surroundings, it should sink. There you go. So whenever we have a nice, warm, sunny day, it's thanks to high pressure. We have sinking that's going on in the atmosphere. Now, produ to produce these clouds and thunderstorms, we need a trough of low pressure. We need cooler temperatures aloft to move overhead, and that's exactly what we're going to demonstrate here. So again, sinking when our parcel is cooler than its environment. Now, we're going to add a trough of low pressure, we'll say. Now, our parcel is going to be more buoyant. It is now warmer than its surroundings. And watch what happens when we do that. This is happening all the time in the atmosphere. Notice our water, our bubble, our, our uh, air parcel is rising higher in the sky, just like a hot air balloon would when you add hot air to it. That's exactly what's happening with these thunderstorms. And ready for the payoff right here? As our parcel rises, cools, condenses, we form clouds. There you Whoa. go. How do you do it? It's not magic, it's science. <laughs> <laughs> and we love it. We Very love good it. Stuff. Thank Thanks, you, Dr. Ben. ben.